check, 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 <laughs> like, like <laughs> commercial. Like. It is like a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> you start like that. It's just like. <laughs> Today, you could donate to help kids, helping kids. And <laughs> by calling this number to help the kids, give them money. Because those kids need money. <laughs> help us to help the kids, help the kids. Yeah. Uh, Folgers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a so hard, you use this hard morning. Yeah. I thought we were going already. Oh, are we? I thought we were going. Hey, welcome yeah. to your full of corn. Yeah. <clears throat> we're, our, we're your podcast host. I'm Jesse. Where all music is pleasant and nice. Jesse is where... All music. Thank you. <laughs> For all music is pleasant. What's your else. name, Sean? My name is Sean. Oh, I leaked it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on our podcast. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about uh, stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about stuff. So, whenever you're listening to this, we are <clears throat> in just past the holiday season. So Happy New Year! Yeah, wherever you are in the year when you're listening to this, hopefully we'll spread some Christmas cheer. <laughs> 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 um, uh-huh. <clears throat> do you have a good Christmas, Jesse? Uh, yeah. I got a longboard. I got new audio tech that I'll probably be integrating. <sighs> In this podcast, eventually, once I figure out how to turn it on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now I got the focus right, uh, Scarlet Solo. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty neat little audio interface that comes with software and everything. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting. And it was it's funny you got me. Cause you you're the worst at getting gag gifts. <laughs> Jokes on you. I like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so, ha ha, Jesse. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> uh, I got a knife. Oh, and, nice. And this sweatshirt. Seaside, Oregon sweatshirt. Mm hmm. Nice. Who gave you that? My mama. Mm. Who gave you the knife? My sister Amanda. And it has replaceable blades. Whoa. Neat. Yeah, I've, I think I've seen those. And it's really, really sharp. That's good. As you can see, I'm missing a finger. <laughs> they can't tell, but they have all my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Cut to a clip. <laughs> I have a clip. <laughs> Cutting off my finger. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so that that's what you got? So, yeah. Seems like there's a plethora of people cutting themselves on YouTube. Really? Yeah. There's a lot of... There's a whole side of YouTube where there's, like, bigger guys, chunkier guys, chopping stuff with swords. Um, Let me look it up for you. But didn't you... I thought you were talking about people cutting themselves with knives. But no, I'm changing it. Here. Oh. Talk to the audience while I look at this up. How was your Christmas, Big people? Guy. I don't know what time of year you're listening Cutting. to this to, but you can refer to the previous Christmas. Duh. Go. Wow, that's Duh. awesome. Uh huh. Wow. You don't say. Sword. Whoa. I probably huh. a few things wrong. Okay. <laughs> what? Like the first things, like bottles beware. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, whoa, look at that guy's face. Dang. Experiment glow something. You're scrolling super fast. 
Yeah, I'm not reading the titles. I'm just looking at the thumbnails. But I'm just trying to read them for this our, guy seems our to be listeners. Pretty famous. This bigard guy. <clears throat> What's his name? Hold on, I don't think that's his channel. Um, I think his name is Babilly K. <laughs> B B I L L Y K. And he has some pretty high up there videos. This video has got some views. We're in the wrong business, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. We need to get we bigger. Gain and cut some s- weight and cut buy s- some katanas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. It's a whole like subgenre on YouTube. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's Conan O'Brien faking cutting himself. It looks like. Apparently, it, we have a unique name for our podcast. Um, at least according what to what makes you say that? To you, at, at least according to YouTube, because I looked up uh, "You're for You're Full of Corn" on YouTube, and we were the first video to pop up. Wow! And that's usually not true. Like yeah. I've searched our our videos on like dual tubers and stuff, and it's just like it's not there, or it's not the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, or I have to like search the specific title, yeah. or just go to a link, or look, go to our channel. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just. So I was like, "Whoa!" But nobody's gonna listen to it. And I was like, <laughs> 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 well, but I was excited about it. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see how many views it has live. I kind of listened to a part of it. I listened to That's part of it. That's <laughs> important. So, this counting two views, we got ten views on it in 18 hours. That's pretty good. Holy for, views. For a podcast, I don't expect people to listen, to be looking for... Well, yeah, I mean, we have a pretty minimal amount of subscribers, so... Mm-hmm. I feel like once we, we kind of grow uh, uh, in our subscriptions and, and just... People following us, knowing about us, they'll they'll see that you know they'll go b- back on previous videos and podcasts. And, Where can you find to. our podcast? Actually, well, currently, currently. just on YouTube. Okay. Now, if you're listening to this later on, it's probably on iTunes and maybe the Google Play Store. Um, those are probably the main ones we're going to be using. Mm-hmm. But I I looked up like. Uh, hosting sites for podcasts and one of the top ones or the top one was like buzzsprout.com and it basically is it's a hosting website so you have an account and you upload it to that website and that website hosts it for you and i'm not exactly sure how to explain it yet but it basically enables you to put it on like itunes and you know uh, google play for android and other websites <clears throat> or modes of podcasting stores or whatever. But I'm pretty new to it, so it's kind of confusing. <coughs> oh, bless me. Uh-huh. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I wanted to like read this article today, because this article is relatively recent but um it's just crazy like what happened and <clears throat> so let me like this is insane this i was like listen to this actually and i was <laughs> you got what is that it's <laughs> it's not i just oh, gross <laughs> i just touched it i just slimed <laughs> myself <laughs> You weren't paying attention? I just no. I just totally sneezed on my coat sleeve and then Sean's like touching it. What's this? <laughs> uh well it's from my nose. I'll give you a hint. I hate to call you out on the podcast. <laughs> it's all over your sleeve. You're just like what's this? <laughs> I thought you spilled Martinelli's on you or something. <laughs> well, anyway, all you're right. saying <laughs> So, this Indian woman um, hatched a plan to kill her husband. Uh-huh. Um, so she... Is she living in India? It was like she from India? I believe so, yes. Okay. And so, she was cheating on her husband. And so... Yeah, but she, what is she, like one in a billion? It's a joke. 
because there's like a billion people living in India. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and so I know that was insensitive <laughs> somehow. <laughs> and so she's just like, I'm cheating on my husband, and this is like, wait, she was cheating on her husband, and she wanted to kill him as well. Yeah. Dang. And so she, because she wanted to be with the the person she was. I wonder if he was, like, really bad, though. Who knows? Yeah. But, so what she decided to do was, like, she was just like, I might get found out that I'm cheating, and that's bad. Mm -hmm. And so she was just like, here, that might need to be a little out of (laughs) She's, like, silently whimpering by the door. (laughs) Let me out. She's a chihuahua, so she's got a Mexican accent, of course. Ah, Sean has left the podcast area, so now I'm left alone with you guys, and I have no idea where he was going with this article, so he really just left me in the dust. Oh, here he is. Thank goodness. Go on about your Indian article. Oh. And so this lady, she like tells her person she was uh, cheating on him with, and she's like, Let's, let's, let's kill him. Let's go. Oh, let's kill him? Yeah. Dang, that is like, both messed up. I think she gave him, like, a sleeping pill or something, and they both beat him to death. Maybe they didn't have a gun? And then they partially burned his body, and then dumped him in the woods. Partially? I don't know why partially. Didn't have enough remember that. I remember that part of the article. They, like, partially burned his body. Hmm. And that was the article? Nope, doesn't end there. Oh. So, they're like, "Uh uh-oh, we might get found out. We made a whoopsie. And not in our pants. And so... In... (laughs) (laughs) That's what they said. (laughs) That is what they said, only... uh, In an Indian accent. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know how to do an Indian accent like that. And so, they're like, uh, well, why don't, she She told her, 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 her. They must not have hit it very well, because uh, they're, they're afraid that they're going to get discovered. But well, I mean, I guess there's probably like, suspicion of like, where did this guy go? Well, where did your husband here's go? Here's the thing. These guys were so smart that she was just like, well, there's a lot of chemical attacks in other countries for some reason like it's very easy to like get or make like chemicals to like an acid and you i hear about like acid attacks all the time like people get well if you ever forget how good you have it in the usa that's probably uh something to fall back on (laughs) have you been chem attacked lately (laughs) probably not if so i am very sorry um, and so she's like, well, let's pour acid, she's talking to her, her new lover, Yeah. on your face, and then we'll take you to the hospital and claim you're my husband, and no one will know. That's it's- commitment. Did they do it? They did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So she splashed his face. Maybe the I, sentence would be like death, though. Yeah. In India, I don't know. And so... So maybe it was like worth it. That's that's the face Ouch. after... There's a picture. Um, jeez. Um, I think that's... I think there's a picture of her and that's her husband. Mm-hmm. And that's the the lover. Right, so you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, it kind of seems like you would be able to tell. Probably, but, if you were like a family member. Yeah, but, so here's what happened, like, she, she, they did that, they went to the hospital and claimed that this, this is my husband, he was attacked by someone for some reason. And they're like, oh man, and... So... The hospital re- rebuttals, oh man! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, oh man, get this I, I do Indian accent. <laughs> get the student ops to the <laughs> <laughs> this guy is burned to heck. <laughs> so they heck and burn this guy. <laughs> that was like that was like uh, Jamaican. Old <laughs> no, it's uh, like uh, Swedish or no? What is it? <laughs> anyway, yeah. So th- he gets admitted to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And the family go to the hospital, and, and they kind of suspect something. German is what I was thinking, sorry. Uh, <laughs> they kind of suspect something, the family does. <clears throat> and he was just like, he wrote, or the wife wrote, or whoever, on his like medical sheet, they put him down as a vegetarian. And the family knew that he, oh, he like, slip up. was not a vegetarian. Web of lies. As that was the torched. first clue. By a other, fire of truth. Other clues where the family were like asking him like about stories and he couldn't remember. It and, burned away my memory. And like couldn't, uh, re- couldn't remember his family's name. It names. burned away my memory. <laughs> couldn't remember his family's name. Name of family members. So, and so the family like they we, we think this guy is not our kid. <laughs> <laughs> and so they start interrogating the wife, and she broke. <laughs> and so, yeah. after the guy gets out of the hospital, which I, I've been, I think it's been a couple of weeks since this story broke. He might be out, but he's going to jail. She's going to jail. <laughs> Dang! Isn't that crazy? That's messed that's up. That's commitment to like. That's like the standard of love right there. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, <clears throat> it's something. <clears throat> Anna, would you burn Jesse's face for love? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Anna's in the background. What What uh, is the closest to or the worst burn experience you've had? With, fi- oh, with fire. Actually, oh, with fire? I, mm, let me tell you the first one. you have one? I have a different burn one. Mm-hmm. I remember when, I think it was the first time, or close to the first time my dad got his first motorcycle. I remember... Oh, I think I had the same experience. Yeah. He, like, <laughs> he got to my house and then I, like, hopped on it and I had shorts on. And my leg touched the mm, side of the exhaust that pipe. That hurts so bad. And it was, like, big. It yeah. was, like, that. No, that's a serious burn. Those things get so hot. Yeah. And it, I remember it, like, lasted a long time. Yeah. It was... I had the same thing, but on my hand. I grabbed the tailpipe after the motorcycle had been running. After my dad was like, don't touch it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, let's do it, kid. <laughs> and then he was nice enough to, like, on the way home, let me hold a, like, a soda pop <laughs> to ease the pain of my stupidity, uh-huh. which it did not. Well, yeah. it did physically, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about fire, though? fire i don't think of <clears throat> besides the closest you've come were there any like stupid things you've done with fire that's i think i've had like m- m- maybe i've had like you know how when you when you, when you burn plastic like plastic bags like it starts to melt you know how it makes that cool, like, sound where it's like, like the yeah. plastic's burning mm-hmm. and it's falling through the air and it's making this yeah. really cool whistling noise? I think I've, like, had been trying to start a fire and that was burning and I think I had some drip on my hand. And it's oh, plastic, wow. so it continues burning. Yeah, sticks to you. Yeah. I think that's probably it. I haven't had too many crazy burns with fire me neither I'll think of i think the closest that. thing with fire for me was when uh my brother timothy and <laughs> uh a blow torch and our friend michael went to town we were Both staying well tim was staying and at someone's place like <laughs> renting a room out yeah. in like the woods Your bro just had a birthday lucas yeah yeah how old is he uh, 40? 30 something. Not 40, <laughs> no. Your brother is. So, anyway, but... She, so, he was staying out there, and we, we... Nobody's home except for us, and then 
So we went in the back, or the front yard, and then we had, like, five gallons of gasoline, and um, oh, I think you we told used me this. it all. I, I'm sure I have, yeah. We used it all, and we, like, would put some into bottles and, like, stomp on it over the fire, and, like, it'd be like a flamethrower. <laughs> and um, Tim lit me on fire, like, my pants on fire on purpose. <laughs> and, I mean, wi- I willingly did this. <laughs> and uh, then he would, like, hose me down. <laughs> so it, it never burned me, but it was pretty dangerous, but it was really fun. Mm-hmm. And then we almost burned down a tree, and her yard was all black, and <laughs> um, Tim burned part of his eyebrow off. <laughs> 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 uh, good times. That was actually really fun, though. I do not recommend it. Stro- strongly do not recommend it. Super dangerous, but I do recount a very good time. <laughs> Sounds like I'm recommending it, but I'm not. Yeah. <clears throat> Neat. Good times. <laughs> Sounds like you're recommending it. <laughs> it That's does. The funnest thing. Well, no, I just I. It was fun, but mm-hmm. obviously there was a lot of risk involved. <clears throat> Some things are stupid that are really fun. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, do you want to talk Star Wars? Sure. I just watched it with Anna mm-hmm. uh, a couple days ago. Okay. We're so, talking about The Last Jedi. Mm-hmm. Episode 8. <clears throat> I think, when I so when I came out of there, I was thinking, that's, I think that's the best of the new, like the reboot, or not reboot, but like the newer... Star Wars movies that have come out after the sixth episode, mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. It's like the third, mm-hmm. but you know, after the six came out. Yeah. Um, I liked the the Force Awakens and Rogue, Rogue One, One, but I think this is the my favorite so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I liked it as well. I thought it was extremely well done. Uh, it's it's a bit of like a hot topic because there's like people think it's like way more than it is, but there's a large, no, not a small, very vocal minority that really don't like the film. They think it's the worst Star Wars movie ever. Oh, weird. And so, definitely not the worst. Definitely not the worst. And so. They're very vocal and like people like think it's like this fifty fifty thing, but it's not. It's not. You look on any like they're just loud. Yeah, they're just extremely loud, and but it's not the case. It's a like I think they're mixing stuff up a little bit. Mm. What expectations were not expect because I think it semi met like the hype that it was building up. Mm. But mm. I just don't think people thought it uh, went the way they thought. I think we should talk about spoilers. We're gonna. Which is funny that they would be upset at that, like, yeah, like they're the writers. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna go into spoilers because, like, yeah, spoiler it's been alert, out for a couple yeah, weeks we're... at the point that we've and been filming this. By the time we put this out, it'll be a month and from <laughs> even recording it, probably. And so. you're probably listening to this a year from when it was up. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> but, but if you haven't watched it this far, we are gonna give away some things. So. Yeah, and so I don't think they liked how Luke's story ended. He kind of just he goes. Mm-hmm. I, I liked. I I I predicted that would happen. That was one of my predictions. He would sacrifice yeah. himself. Mm. Ugh, and he kind of did. <laughs> and yeah, not exactly. But I liked how it, it ended up. In yeah, his story. He, at least. It was very symbolic <clears throat> that he went the same way that Obi Wan did. Yeah, like, that was cool. And it would have been it that would have like gave me like chills if he would have like right before he went, he was just like, "Coming, I'm coming, Obi Wan." Yeah, like whispered it, and then he faded out. That would like I would be like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, hopefully, but, do you do you think? Uh, They'll put out, like, an extended cut. 
I like think director. so. I think I heard that they... <laughs> well, just like people are like, yes, they did! While they're listening to this. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think Ryan Johnson said like the Blu-ray will have deleted scenes. Which... That's a little uh, different because they can yeah. be the same. And Disney's kind of weird with with canon. In case people didn't know, Disney said everything after The Force Awakens that they put out, any comic book that they put out, any video game that has story to it, every movie, everything that they put out from now on... All the dolls. ...is canon. <laughs> and what I mean huh. by... That's if you don't, neat, if you don't know what canon is, it's like everything is like happened in that universe. Um, <clears throat> everything like it's it's true and happened. Like there's a. It's li- not like a spinoff. Yeah, there's a little that doesn't affect an the main else universe. world. Yeah, everything connects and everything works together. Like. In this recent game that came out, Battlefront 2, there's a little bit of cinematic story to it. Which, it just real quick, just to clear this up in my mind, am I crazy, or was there a Battlefront 2 already? There was a Battlefront Okay, I was just like, <laughs> is this a, like a reboot or a remake, or is they're, it the same game and they're just releasing for a new console? Kind of rebooted the <laughs> whole like Battlefront series. I don't but know. why do they call it 2? Is it actually just Battlefront 2 with extra content and no, for the new system. It's a whole new game. That is so weird it's to me. It's very weird. <laughs> but I don't know why I did that, but who, who Well, knows? thanks for cleaning that up. They wanted to start <laughs> over, I guess. Um, but there's a little bit of cinematic in that game and that's canon. That happened. Mm-hmm. Like they could refer like in the game you see uh Luke enter like this base that had that the emperor stayed at and he found like this compass Mm. type thing and you actually see it for a split second in the last jedi oh so that stuff in that game really did happen so it's really cool i like that yeah that makes a lot more sense actually yeah and so what happened Mm, where was i going with that Mm, I think it's kind of weird that everything has to be canon, because that means, like, someone can't write a book about an Elseworld or whatever. And it kind of, it kind of creates a, a little problem, because then you have to have everyone on the same page. Every writer you bring in has to know everything. I don't think it's a problem for Disney, because they have a lot of resources and, like... Well, there's a little... There's a little really good at it, so... There's a little, like canon flub up already um like in the book in the novelization of the force awakens episode seven uh ray meets poe dameron in the force awakens she doesn't meet him at all and in the last jedi oh yeah and then he was like nice to meet you and And i actually felt like they had already met and i was like this I felt like it was strange. Honestly, I felt like it was strange mm-hmm. that but they, they never hadn't met. Showed it. And I was like, hadn't they met before? And mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, oh, I guess they haven't. But it's funny that they actually did in the book because it felt like they did. Yeah, but they but that, maybe that was just me. In the Last Jedi, they kind of meet for the first time. My name's Ray. My name's Paul. And they're just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. And so that's so it's kind of weird how they have to do it. But yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I didn't like the casino part. This is very cliche, but a lot of critics say it, and I agree with them, that the casino part was a little... It d- didn't match the pacing. It kind of fl- like felt like the story was moving, and then all of a sudden stops for mm-hmm. Finn and Rose's storyline that didn't even add up to much. Like they didn't, it, it didn't affect any outcome whatsoever. Uh, it actually made things worse. So um, it did, really, but it was just kind yeah. of oddly paced. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the only thing I didn't really like. Um, but everything else, like the dynamic between uh, Ray and Luke, I thought was really well. And Ray mm, and yeah. Kylo, I thought was Definitely. really well done. Um, yeah, my favorite part, like... My favorite 
acting parts were with Luke and Ray. I think they did, honestly, in my opinion, the best jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kylo was good, and and most the rest were good. But I thought Luke and Ray, mo- and most appropriately, did the best because they. I mean, they're basically the main. In really, I feel like um, Kylo is not as prominent in as like Luke and Ray. It kind of focuses yeah. the, on them more. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm like I really like Kylo Ren now. Like he, he I liked yeah, him yeah. before, <laughs> but now I really like because you gotta get more of a sense of his character and motives. I re- yeah, I actually liked how they played on. Luke's version of the story, yeah, and Kylo's, and you're like, oh, which they're is? both true, yeah, they're, and they're both, both true, true, and that yeah. was really well done, yeah. And then you kind of grow the, more of a soft spot for Kylo because it was Luke's fault that he planted that he basically created Kylo yeah. with that uh, moment, moment of, of doubt, moment of weakness, and and yeah, basically he with that moment of weakness, uh, Kylo was like misguided yeah you know? and here's something that i never seen anyone notice before or maybe the notice but didn't say anything about but in the force awakens uh kylo ren says uh when ray ignites the luke's old lightsaber she says or he says that belongs to me who who said that kylo and like luke's lightsaber yeah, in The Force Awakens, oh. they they have a lightsaber battle at the end. Yeah, I remember that. And Kylo has a line that says, I think he says, that lightsaber belongs to me. And that didn't have any significant meaning until I'm pretty sure that was, like, in the flashback, when Luke has that moment of weakness and ignites his lightsaber, mm-hmm. I think that's Luke's that Kylo Ren blocks with. So we, so I guess like Luke gave it to him when he was a, a Padawan. Oh, so that's cool. And then, huh? So we don't know how Maz Kanata in the Force Awakens got it, but who yeah. knows? Who knows? That might be told later. But it used to really belong to Kylo. To Kylo, which. I think I think the running theory was why he said that was like he likes to collect Darth Vader artifacts and I guess and that used to belong to Anakin Skywalker that lightsaber. Mhm. And so Yeah, interesting. The what oh, let me think about that actually. <laughs> because it was lost in the Empire Strikes Back because Luke got his hand chopped off and it right. fell. So, unless Luke went and got it back. Well, I'll have to rewatch it and make yeah. sure, and see if that is true. Like, maybe Luke did go and get it back and then give it to Kylo. But You can always let us know what you, you know, yeah, too. <laughs> you might know. Uh, or you, might have not you may noticed, know. Yeah. but now you want to. Uh, and another thing, I actually thought about this, like, a week or two after I watched it. But it... Cause I, cause I like to before I score a movie or give a proper review, I like to mull it over in my head, maybe see it twice. And what really got me after I thought about it a couple times was the very end, because <clears throat> I wasn't sure about it. Ending with these kids, and the one kid with the pulling the broom towards him for a second. Right. I thought, kind of thought that was a little cheesy at first, but then I like really started to like it after I thought about it in my head. Because, like, um, you say, you see Leia say, oh, we got everything we need. And they're all, they're going somewhere in the uh, Millennium Falcon. And then it goes back to the casino planet where these kids are, like, speaking an alien language. Mm-hmm. And saying, oh, blah, 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 Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And showing like the i think it is the scene that last scene that he did with, i think you see like little toys of the walkers and then luke skywalker uh-huh and they're they're playing with toys and walkers and like telling the story of luke skywalker they're doing what like i would do with 
like Star Wars toys. Yeah. And tell him like making up or telling a legend or a story. And that kind of got me a little bit. That like, mm-hmm. that's cool. Like, yeah. Like they're doing what everyone, all the fans have done. Mm-hmm. And so I thought that was really cool. And so I thought about that later, and it's like that's 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 good. Yeah, that's, that is cool. Um, and they obviously like leave it open a little bit with that one kid with the. I don't think everyone says like, oh, that who's the kid? Who's the kid gonna be with the force powers at the end? But I I think we might not see even in episode nine. I don't think. Yeah. I think I was curious. About I think that, that too, thus but... leaves things open for more stories. I guess mm-hmm. I don't think that necessarily means we're going to see that kid in the next movie. Uh, right. I just think that it just goes, "Hey, there are other force people out there." Yeah. Just so you know, just so it's confirmed. Kind of thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So I really liked that after I thought about it more. Cool. <clears throat> Yeah. And, oh, another thing, real quick, sorry. <laughs> Everyone's like, complains, why wasn't, why wasn't just Luke there? Why wasn't he there on the planet? Why didn't he just go there and fight Kylo Ren or help him? He could have done way more. He wouldn't have died because he probably wouldn't have exhausted himself or whatever. He absolutely couldn't. When Lay, when Ray <laughs> leaves, he absolutely couldn't leave. People go, but but he but you see his X-wing in the water. He could have lifted it out just like just like before. He could have done that. No, that thing's destroyed. The door that that Chewie knocks in when they see each other for the first time. Like, remember when? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray's trying to get him to come along. Uh-huh. No, that no, no. was a piece of the wing from the X-wing. <laughs> so that thing's not gonna fly yeah. anymore, <laughs> and that's it's, a, it's, it's a, just sitting underwater. Yeah, just... and obviously you probably couldn't <laughs> be able to tell um, that without that's actually in the visual dictionary. Like uh, I found that out. Oh, yeah. like so you can't just obviously you can't just go know that right off the bat. But that's Most how it is. Just he could, spot that, yeah. Yeah, he couldn't leave. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Was like project himself which is that's what he could do amazing ability yeah, crazy <laughs> like he's when super I powerful when i saw that he wasn't actually there i was just like what <laughs> yeah. even though it would have been crazy cool if he was there and he was like, yeah because i was like how is he taking stuff? that i know he's luke skywalker but yeah <laughs> still <laughs> he's not and because he wasn't deflecting him like you were yeah. saying would have been cool Deflecting and destroying yeah. everything. I said earlier, if like uh, Kylo Ren says, like fire every gun we got at that man, and like <laughs> they all start firing. What if he like pulled out his green lightsaber and just started deflecting him super quick and taking out the walkers one oh, by one, man. and they're all just bouncing everywhere <laughs> while he's walking forward? That would be the most epic thing. The biggest backfire ever. Yeah. The- Big, the most epic thing ever, and then he just doesn't kill the one with Kylo in it, so Kylo comes down. Blah, blah, blah. But then we wouldn't have had the ending with like that. But <laughs> well, maybe we would have, maybe he would have still because Obi Wan was there and he still turned into a pile of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But I didn't write the movie. But I'm just taking the movie as it is. I go always go into a movie with like try and go in with like minimal expectations. Okay, clear slate. I'm not like saying if it doesn't have this or this, that makes it not good. Mm-hmm. I just go into a movie like clear, take it all in, and uh, rate it that way. And I legitimately think it's like one of the best Star Wars movies. Yeah, me too. I just came in the theater like most of the time I do, which is just like I want to go do something fun and be entertained. Mm-hmm. And then naturally, I just let it occur that I mm-hmm. judge it. <laughs> yeah. And I also go into like the movie, like especially a Star Wars movie, of course, because people hold the original trilogy 
at this untouchable <laughs> legend place. Yeah. Like, That's like true. the original trilogy is on this shelf. It doesn't get touched. Like Empire, like whatever order you have them in, Empire Strikes Back is the best. Then A New Hope. Then is the uh, the the usual like order ranking. Yeah, people like the Empire Strikes Back the best. And then they like A New Hope, and they like Return of the Jedi. Um, but like, like, <laughs> I know, Meg, I know you're wanting attention. But like, I don't like that. I don't like doing that to movies. Just putting, like, this on the ultimate shelf. It can't be, t- it's always the best, no yeah. matter what. There's no, no Star Wars movie can ever be better than these. Oh, speaking, uh, here, let me... I'll, mm-hmm, I'll mm-hmm, continue mm-hmm, after you've mm-hmm, finished. Um, and so, I don't like... You don't do that, like... <laughs> with When the next Avatar movie comes out from James Cameron. <laughs> like, no movie can ever be as good as... Like, they didn't say that back then in the 70s mm-hmm. when the trilogy was first coming out. Well, I guess 70s and 80s when the first trilogy was coming out. Yeah. The first one is untouchable no matter what. Yeah. Um... And so I'm not that's how they talked about yeah, that. No matter what, just to differentiate. <laughs> yeah. um, so you can tell what time yeah. period we're yeah. talking about. But I'm not sure exactly how to like rank all the movies uh, right now. But I would, probably would put it in the top three, like The Last Jedi. It is really legitimately good. I believe like it's it's. Uh, pros outweigh the cons. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I would agree with that. Obviously, it's not perfect. No. Rarely any movie is perfect. But I didn't really have many complaints, if any, honestly. Yeah. And movies are subjective. Everyone can have opinions. (laughs) Obviously. (laughs) I wish I had a t-shirt that said that. (laughs) Yeah. Like, just how art is subjective so keeping in with that theme of like untouchable movies uh, another big one is lord of the rings Mm -hmm. and speaking of lord of the rings amazon is yep amazon is launching a lord of the rings tv series Mm -hmm. or amazon series or whatever and it's gonna be the most expensive tv series ever made I didn't hear that. That's but that what I be... was reading, and I was like, "Well, that's interesting because that's cool, mm-hmm. that's good, you know, because give it its best shot, money wise." Um, but Peter Jackson, and this was in the article that I read, Peter Jackson uh, filmed the original trilogy, Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, for much less than most big blockbusters, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. Uh, so as far as big movies, successful movies, acclaimed movies, he re- it really wasn't a huge budget. Mm-hmm. Um, not much at all, actually. Uh, and it was an amazing experience. So uh, not that, again, money has to do with it, because the more money you put into it, the higher production quality you might have. Um, but it could still definitely fail. Yeah, but they also, I believe, with I think it's like New Line Cinemas that, that owns the rights or something that mm-hmm. Amazon had to buy it out for. Mm-hmm. They bought it out for like a like, ridiculous amount, but uh, and that's just the start of their like spending of money. But yeah, um, just to get the rights. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically, it's like well, we'll we'll see how they do, and and people. Are probably going to do the same thing. They're going to hold it up to Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson's <clears throat> trilogy, <Yeah. clears throat> which you know is for a reason. But also, like you gotta gotta just come into it not expecting it to be like Peter Jackson's. Version. Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard. I'm was, excited though. <laughs> I heard it was going to start a little while before the Fellowship. Yep. And, and then eventually it will, like, come up, up yeah. into those events. Yeah. Which is neat. Because mm-hmm. it's never been... There's never been any films. Yeah. I also heard that 
uh, Ian McKellen would be willing to come back as oh Gandalf. Oh my goodness. Which I don't, I don't believe they're going to do. There's I no hope way. not. Because he and is. And that's stupid because so then it draws awful. you into Peter Jackson's version yeah. of the. Yeah, people would, I love Ian McKellen as Gandalf, but pe- that would not people be. People would be a smart so move. confused. That would, would be honestly not good. If they had. I This is just my opinion. Mm-hmm. It might not be right, but if they got any of the actors from the. Lit- Lord of the Rings, the the Peter Jackson version, that would just be not wise. Yeah. <laughs> like that's something that they could do that doesn't involve money, but just like wisdom that could downgrade the the quality or the immersion of the audience. Basically, you know, unless they've never seen Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. But um, so hopefully, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm ex- I'm excited for it. Like, Netflix uh, bought the rights to do a series, The Witcher. Mm, off the video game? Off the video game, which is off of books. Oh. And so. I, I don't think I knew that. Yeah, and I think that's going to be one of their most expensive series they're going to make. That might be cool. Which, I think every week. Netflix has a certain number of original content coming out. They've this been year. doing a lot, yeah. Be- because I just found this out. Do you know that every month Netflix makes in pretty much profit because like they don't spend a lot of money getting movies, but just in like from people sub- who are subscribed to Netflix, <clears throat> every month they make. A billion dollars. No, oh, every year they make like fourteen or fifteen billion dollars a year. That's wow. So why wouldn't they be making constant content? <laughs> like you see them. Always, yeah, they always have I've a big movie sure. coming out. And I think this last movie, Bright, um, which I'm not really interested in seeing. <laughs> Bad reviews. Um, I think they spent had like a ninety million dollar budget, and that's their biggest budget so far. Which is like typical of like a like a smaller budget Hollywood movie, mm-hmm. um, smaller like I guess blockbuster like going into theaters. smaller major motion. Yeah, um, but I'm excited for that. I'm not sure when that's going to come the out. The Witcher. Yeah, I'm sure. I hadn't even. I'm heard looking about it. forward to it. But I'm not as connected to that. Movie world as you are. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of movies. <clears throat> We're about going on the same same length of time as our first podcast. Yeah, it's true. <sighs> Talking about movies and stuff. I could do that. That could be its own <laughs> podcast. I could do that all day. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, you want to cue up the music? Is that what we do? Usually. Let's do this one. What is this? Let's try a different one. <laughs> oh. Where am I from? <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> uh, well, let's try a different one. Alright, well then, yeah, I was gonna let's try just go ahead and start. <laughs> <laughs> this is the music you listen to while you scrapbook. It's called Scrapbook. Yeah. Or is it called Silent Partner? That's the artist. Band or whatever. Yeah. Artist. Oh, we did this one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. X Boxer? That one's lame. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. Let's do Sheesh. this one. The Chase. In the Court of Law. <laughs> yeah. This sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, like the people's court. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so you want to end it? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for listening to our podcast. Very productive. Uh, we enjoyed this. We recorded on a blue studio, or no, no, that's our phone brand. Wow. Okay, so yeah, blue snowball, blue snowball microphone. And, um, you know, the quality is not super good. Not on the microphone, but just on our recording. Because we're, like, not in a studio and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, we're hoping to improve that so you, your ears are uh, listening with pleasure. Delight. Yeah, delight. Yeah. They're just perking right up. 
<laughs> so where can the people find you, Jesse? Uh, they can find me right here on the Olympic Peninsula. Oh, you mean on the internet. On the internet. Uh, what do you mean? Do you got a Twitter? Do you want to I do not have you, a Twitter. Do you have Instagram? <laughs> I do not have it. I'm so your, connected. What about your YouTube? Uh, Jesse Turney, J E S S E T U R N E Y, at youtube.com. You may have heard of it, because you're on it right now, probably, maybe, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, super period Sean period films, super Sean films. I'm pretty sure if you just type it in, you can find it. But it has little dots in between. That's amazing. And then Super Sean uh, Films um, at Twitter and on YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. And this is our Dual Tubers channel where we collaborate, collaborate. and do silly stuff. Like podcasts. Yeah, like podcasts. This is our <laughs> third one. Yeah. Woo. Can you tell? Can you tell how experienced we are? <laughs> Listen to that perky audio. <clears throat> Alright. Song's ending. I suppose we should end. <laughs> All right. Thanks well, for watching. Have a good day, people. We love you. Stay jazzy. Bye.